Welcome back. I'm Midge and this is Midge's Fridge. Today I'll be making a milk and honey bread for you. This bread is so delicious. It is so soft. It is so good. You will never, ever, ever, and I mean ever, want to buy store-bought bread again. I'm so excited to make this for you. Let's go. Follow me. The ingredients are three and a half cups of flour, three teaspoons of yeast, one teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of honey, quarter cup of melted butter, and one and a half cups of milk. I warmed the milk in the microwave for 45 seconds. You want the temperature to be like a baby's bath water, not too hot, because you want that yeast to activate. It's time to mix that melted butter in with your warmed milk. Pour in that sticky, gooey honey. Pour in your yeast. This is what's gonna make this baby rise. Just give it a light little stir and let sit for five minutes. You want that yeast to activate. Today I'm using a stand mixer, but if you don't have a stand mixer, you can knead by hand. Boy, will you ever get a workout. I have just added the flour to my bowl, along with the salt and our liquid mixture. I'm going to attach the bowl to the stand mixer and put the hook attachment on. I started the speed on number two until the dough starts to come together and then I turned it to number three. I let it knead for about five minutes. Be patient though. If you notice that your dough isn't coming together as planned, if it's too dry, add a tablespoon of milk. If it's too wet, add a tablespoon of flour. After the five minutes, touch your dough. It should be tacky, but should not stick to the side of the bowl or stick to your fingers. Our dough is complete and you should have a nice, soft, almost like an elastic texture. See how you can pull it, but it doesn't tear? I am placing my dough in a well-greased bowl, just making sure that the dough gets coated so that when it does rise, it won't stick to the edge of your bowl. I'm covering the bowl with saran wrap to trap in the warmth. If you don't have saran wrap, you can use a tea towel. And now we need to kill some time. I've asked Siri to let me know when 90 minutes is up. Ninety minutes is up. Whew. Seemed like an eternity. As you could see, the dough has doubled in size, and I'm just giving it two light punches to deflate it. And now I'm going to put it on a well-floured countertop. There is no need to knead it at this point. Get it? Knead, knead. Wah, wah, wah. Put that rolling pin to use and roll out your dough so that it is a quarter to half inch thick. As you can see, I'm rolling the dough and pinching the edges as I roll along. So now I've realized that my dough is too big and I'm gonna have to fold it in half and pinch the edges so that it'll fit in my pan. You know, some days you have to improvise. Today, I just don't have the right size pan. But after some manipulation with my dough, I managed to get it to fit nicely in my well-greased pan. Oh. I should have warned you not to get rid of that saran wrap. It's going to come in handy again. Hey Siri, set timer for 60 minutes. Your timer is set for one hour. And for the unveiling. It may be busting at the seams, but it's all going down the same way. Place in a preheated 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. It should be on the middle rack. This baby is cooked to perfection, but be careful, she's hot. There's nothing like warm bread, but you should let it cool for a little while before you slice into it. Let's see what it looks like inside. 
Oh wow, look at that. It is so soft and it is so light and so fluffy and the aroma smells so amazing. Mmm, the edges are crispy and the inside is so soft. Thank you so much for watching Midge's Fridge. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. <laughs> now what?